Welcome to our USMLE Step 1 Strategy Session, where we dissect the anatomy of a question to understand how to approach, analyze, and answer like a pro. Let's dive into the techniques that will sharpen your skills and save precious time. First up, the first pass is skim the question. Start with the last sentence of the stem to get to the heart of what's being asked, then take a quick look at the answer, choices, for context. Next, the second pass. This time, read from the top with a keen eye. Highlight the vitals, lab values, signs, demographics, but be judicious. Too much highlighting can clutter your thought process. When tackling clinical vignettes, become a detective. Zone in on the chief complaint, the illness, history, the diagnostics. Paint a picture that guides you towards a diagnosis or the next best step in management. Employ the process of elimination. As you sift through the stem, discard options that don't align with the clinical scenario you've outlined. Cutting down the choices increases your chance of success. Recognizing patterns is your secret weapon. Match the presentations you've learned with conditions in the question. This familiarity helps you spot the right answer without hesitation. And remember, prioritize. If the answer isn't clear after your second read, mark it and move on. Lock in the questions you're sure of first, then loop back if time permits. Find yourself stuck between two choices, trust your gut. Your instincts are honed by hours of study, so they're often spot on. Look for the most comprehensive answer, the one that fits snugly with the clues at hand. Keep an eye on the clock. Perform regular time checks to stay on course, ensuring you're pacing well through each question block. Maintain a steady rhythm. Don't get bogged down. If a question's got you stumped, choose the best answer with what you know and proceed. The right mindset can be as crucial as the knowledge itself. Stay calm, stay clear-headed. Confidence can clear the fog and lead you to the correct choice. Before the final bell, review any questions you've marked. Fresh insights may emerge, leading to clarity and perhaps a few extra points. Lastly, give your answers a last glance. Ensure they make sense, ensure they're what you intended. A quick sweep can prevent careless errors. Armed with these strategies, you're now ready to tackle USMLE questions with the precision of an expert. Let's put these principles into practice and conquer those questions. In order to better understand the structure of USMLE questions and see live examples, let's dive into an invaluable resource. We'll visit the USMLE website where the NBME provides a free 120 set of sample questions. These questions are styled in the exact manner you'll encounter in the actual exam. And importantly, some of these questions have even appeared in real exams. This will give us a practical insight into what to expect and how to strategically approach each question. Let's get into it. So to illustrate the three-step process, I'm just going to go ahead and do a sample block of step one questions. Now this is the free NBME 120. If you just Google it, you can essentially come up with 120 questions that the NBMEs will give you for free if you just want to test yourself towards the end. But here is a very simple three-step process to get through any step one question. And typically a student will read this and they'll go ahead and start highlighting. And eventually they'll get to the question, they'll look at the answer choices and they'll become overwhelmed because they're like not really confident after reading that. And they'll go through all of this again and it wastes time and causes anxiety. So on the flip side, what I recommend doing is taking a three-step process where number one is you look at the question, Number two, you look at your answer choices, and then number three, you finally go back to the stem. So let me show you an example of what this would look like for this particular question. But let's tackle this question together, step by step. We have a 52-year-old woman with a history of headaches that improve when she lies down, high blood pressure, and signs of left ventricular strain on examination. We're asked to determine the cause of her left ventricular abnormalities. First, identify the key clinical features. Note the intermittent headaches, high blood pressure, and the cardiac findings. These are the highlights of our case. Now scan the answer choices. We're looking for a process that explains left ventricular changes in response to hypertension. Review the stem again for specifics. 
Her blood pressure stands out, as do the findings of a displaced point of maximal impulse and left axis deviation. These suggest chronic pressure overload on the heart. The next step is crucial, eliminating unlikely options. Glycogen accumulation and protein misfolding don't typically present like this, so we can rule out A and D. Fibrosis of conduction pathways and myocyte hyperplasia aren't indicated here either, so B and E are also out. What we're left with and what fits the picture we've formed is increased synthesis of contractile filaments. This is the body's adaptation to sustained high blood pressure, leading to left ventricular hypertrophy. So confidently select C, knowing it aligns with our clinical clues. Remember, this strategy is about precision and pacing. Practice it to become swift at identifying key information and making informed decisions within the time limit. In summary, mastering USMLE questions is an art that combines knowledge with strategy. By adopting the techniques discussed in this video, you're well on your way to navigating the exam with confidence and precision. Thank you for tuning in. I hope these insights empower you to tackle your upcoming tests more effectively. Don't forget to practice these skills and remember, every question is a step towards success. See you in the next video, guys. Keep studying smart and aiming high. Thank you for joining this episode of the Metacaucus video series. Stay tuned for more high-yield discussions on topics that frequently appear in your NBME and USMLE exams.